See this in your mail? Yeah, don't touch that. That purple stuff you see is a bacteria called Bacillus anthracis, otherwise known as anthrax. Anthrax is an infectious disease caused by gram-positive rod-shaped bacteria. Anthrax is a unicellular prokaryote with a varying life cycle based on the environment it inhabits. In addition to being bacteria, anthrax has also been used as a weapon of bioterrorism. Because of its tiny size, anthrax can become stored deep within the alveoli of the lung. That, paired with the stable and infectious nature of anthrax as an aerosol, makes it an ideal deadly weapon. In 2001, anonymous letters were laced with powdery white anthrax. The infected mail was then sent to publication companies and U.S. senators. This act killed five people and injured 17 others. Other than the mail, where can this little sucker be found? Anthrax spores are naturally occurring disease of herbivores, such as domesticated animals. Anthrax bacterium is found in soil all around the world. This pathogen is most common in Central America and South America, Sub-Saharan Africa, Southwestern Asia, Eastern Europe, and the Caribbean. <coughs> Though anthrax is rare in the U.S., it is usually found in Texas, Oklahoma, and the Dakotas. Humans can contract anthrax through contact with infected animals or contaminated animal products such as wool, hair, meats, or hide. Anthrax presents itself in four forms, cutaneous, gastrointestinal, inhalation, and injection infection. The most common cause of anthrax is cutaneous anthrax. This occurs when spores enter the body through cuts or abrasions of the skin. The next most common is called inhalation anthrax. This occurs when the tiny spores are inhaled in and settled in the lungs. Inhalation anthrax is most deadly with a mortality rate of 80%. Injection anthrax has recently been identified in heroin injecting drug users. However, there have been no cases in the US. Finally, gastrointestinal anthrax. This is the most rare form, but may occur when consumption of contaminated animal products occurs. Gastrointestinal anthrax has a fatality rate of 20% without treatment and 1% with treatment. The time sequence and symptoms of anthrax vary depending on its forms, but symptoms can take anywhere from one day to more than two months to appear. For example, within the first 24 hours of contact with inhalation anthrax, the infection presents flu-like symptoms such as fever and uncontrollable coughing. Afterwards, the symptoms will appear to get better. However, the infection will progress into the respiratory distress presenting the symptoms of chest compressions, chest pain, and drastic change in voice. When the symptoms have reached this point, the anthrax infection has spread from the lymph nodes to the mediastinum, and the symptoms will progress for one or two more days while the infection spreads into the bloodstream causing toxemia or hypertension. Death can occur within 36 hours of exposure. Anthrax infections are characterized by a painless sore that blisters into a black ulcer accompanied by swelling and lesions tend to form on the lymph nodes. When exposed to large amounts of anthrax, the infectious spores are taken up by the preliminary macrophages. However, the macrophages can't kill the spores so they end up serving as taxicabs that transport the spores to the nearest regional lymph node. Once in the lymph node, anthrax comes out of the spore and into a vegetative form to release toxins and reproduce. Toxins consist of cell binding protein called the protective antigen and two enzyme components called edemia and lethal factor. In response to the outbursts of toxins, the lymph nodes break down and anthrax is released into the bloodstream circulating around to affect the rest of the body. Penicillin, deoxycycline, ciprofloxacin are all effective drug treatments against most strains of this disease. Animal vaccinations to prevent anthrax have become a more common practice, especially in Texas where animal diseases run rampant. The Stern animal vaccine is a live bacterial spore vaccine that is very effective in reducing animal and subsequently human epidemics. The human anthrax vaccine has been widely used since the 1970s. This vaccine protects against cutaneous and inhalation anthrax according to the FDA. Though anthrax is a pretty nasty infection, the good news is it's not contagious. Wait, it's not contagious? No. <sighs> and it's not common anywhere near you. So just keep that in mind. God, that was f***ing miserable.